Alan Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. Our match today, Peterborough United against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Everything ready for the kickoff. So this is how the hosts line up today. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. And here is the way Wolves are set as formation work. Yeah, I mean, this could be it. They've coped with it well defensively. And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. Doherty. A little private game between the two of them. And here's the shot. And the keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. Saved by the keeper. On to the attack now. In with the chance. Nowhere near the goal, actually. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Defender to it first. And that's a very successful slide tackle. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Shot off! Save by... Ah, it's a penalty. He gave the penalty straight away, and it's a yellow for the culprit. Yeah, I think fair enough. I don't think that deserved a red, but uh, he deserved a penalty, all right. That's a terrific penalty. Well, he's missed some before, but he didn't miss this one. Yeah, he's a man you can depend on in these situations because he does keep a clear and cool head. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Peterborough United, number 13, Craig McKay. Got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. Time at 1 0. And the referee is blown to signal the start of the second half. So the referee awards a free kick. Here's a chance to attack. Gonna try his luck. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. He's guided this one home first time. It's a really smart finish. Restarting at 2-0. Number 21, Tom Nichols. Just working away to try and find an opening. Well, they're in a good position here. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker, but it was made too easy for him. Poor defending that. Well, they've got a corner. Could be dangerous. He's got his shot off now. And he scores spectacularly. Well, this could be a, a real turnaround here. They've given themselves a chance of at least catching up. Yeah, and this goal, you know, I think it's changed the body language, the attitude of the whole team here. And I'm expecting a real comeback. Off we go again, 2-1. On the home bench, a substitute is cl played into the middle, punched away by the goalkeeper. 
Strong challenge. Attacking well here. And here comes the counter-attack. Shots on here. They scored. Well, this team just won't lie down, will they? I thought they were down and out, two behind, but back on level terms. Well, very nicely placed, Alan. Beautifully done. Yeah, he's almost passed it into the net. Jimmy Greaves like there, wasn't he? Well, the momentum is with them now, so they must feel that they can go on to even get their noses in front. Forrester. Chris Forrester. On to the attack now. Being moved around nicely here with this passing game. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. And shoots! It's such a close game. Well, it wasn't a very close effort, was it? No, as the clock ticks on, I think that the pressure got to him, really, and he just made the wrong choice. There's only a minute to go. Strong challenge. Well, no difference between the two sides after 90 minutes here. 